Hey, welcome back to Score on Business. We're still with Norma Shirk. So, Norma, before the break, we were talking mm -hmm. about um, companies where there is a, a problem employee that's toxic or whatever, right. but the manager above them is be, is not taking any action, even though they're right. aware. What what is the cost of that? to the company. Right. The most immediate cost is that it trashes the morale of everybody else. Mm -hmm. So if my morale as an employee is low, I'm going to start slowing down. I'm going to get sloppy in my work. Why care if nobody else does? So it immediately they may not uh, see um, a cost to the bottom line but when morale sinks productivity goes down and you will see uh, fairly quickly how the loss of productivity affects mm -hmm. the bottom line oh yeah and then from there the loss of productivity will slip into issues of quality control whether it's a service or a product it's going to get sloppy and then you start losing clients and customers and if Eventually, you have to move the uh, problem employee out, and the worst case scenario then is that you haven't spent enough time documenting your your records showing mm -hmm. how they were counseled on their behavior and it right. didn't change so you fire them and suddenly you find yourself being sued for wrongful termination and the employee claim former employee claims they never knew they had a problem and why right. did you fire them yeah and i think so. the the big point um in there is a huge cost to inaction right and people who care about their company cannot afford to take no action when there is a problem. That is very clear. I mean, wine gets better with age, yeah. cheese gets better with age. Yeah. Problem employees never get better with age. <laughs> okay. So, kind of changing gears here, mm -hmm. how has being an author helped your business? Has it led to an increase in revenue, for example? You know, at this point, I have not seen uh, a direct line from being an author to an increase in revenue. But what I have seen is a higher profile. And that mm -hmm. was the original goal I had when I started my right. blog, because I had a very small marketing budget, small business, that's very common. And so by blogging, I got my name out there. And I still blog every week. Mm -hmm. And uh, with a book as well, when somebody does a Google search on my name or my company name, they're going to see information about me and about my company. and. So so it gives me higher visibility. Right. And it, and it raises credibility. Right. Yes, and it raises credibility. Yes. So eventually, I'm now at a point where I'm out and about, and somebody meets me, and they're like, oh, you, you're the one. Yeah. The one that has that blog the book I heard with about. with the gorilla yeah. on it. Yeah. Yeah, and the gorilla yeah. book, yes. <laughs> so where can folks get this book? It's available on Amazon. Okay, and the name again is um, Psycho Bosses and Obnoxious Coworkers, and it's written by Norma Shirk. Mm -hmm. And so they can go to Amazon. They can go to Amazon. It's okay. also available on my company website, right. which is compliancerickadvisor.com. Compliance risk, okay, mm -hmm. good. And so that credibility is really important. I mean, that's a. Oh, yeah. So even mm -hmm. though you might not see the direct dollars to the bottom line, right. that credibility is a, a big deal. Oh, it is. It is. Because in any small business, you yeah. have lots of competitors. And so the ways that you set yourself apart from the others is always going to help with yeah. credibility and recognition. And so being an author and having humor, uh, right. most people don't think HR and humor in the same breath. Yeah. But this helps them. It's a serious message. Right. But it you helps have them have a little laugh along there. the way. Yeah, yeah. like the, the employee that she could go to, to, to bed and become a monk and yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. So in 30 seconds, tell us about your next project. So my next project is kind of a primer for small business owners and mm -hmm. for entrepreneurs. It looks at the corporation across all major functions and the risks in those areas and the key laws and then it gives some uh, some tips on how to mitigate the risk. Awesome. Norma, thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me, Pete. <laughs> okay. Well, I do appreciate it and look forward to the next time you're here. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> when can we watch for your next book? Uh, hopefully later this year. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, ladies and gents, we shall see you next week.